Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a green screen movie effects studio for iPad and iPhone 4 and 5. It's a universal app and will work on all the devices. Okay, if we start the application. Um, green screen allows you to add special effects to videos you either record with a video camera or import from your camera roll. So let's create a new video. Um, to create a new video, we press the plus new project button in the top of the screen. Uh, we can give the project uh, a title. Here we'll call it Dinosaur Chase. And we can choose the quality of the video. So the size of the video produced. Uh, let's choose high quality. Okay, so we can record from video camera live, or we can uh, an importance to the application, or we can import from our camera roll. So let's do that. So let's choose the video you want to use. Here's a video. Uh, select. You can also crop the video here if you want to do. Left and right. Choose which section of the video you want to use. And we're going to use all the video. Okay, that's going to import the video now. Uh, next, this is going to ask us if we want to use chroma key. Um, that means that we may want to remove the background um, of the main video. For instance, if you shot it in front of a white wall or, or blue or green wall or whatever, you can remove that and add effects behind um, the video. So let's do that and say yes. Now here we can see the main video file. Um, if we move left and right, we can pan through the video in time. And what we can do is choose any color to remove and act as green screen. So here we'll use green. So we can see. Uh, we can remove the green colour and play around a little bit to get a good good match. Okay, so here we can see we remove the green colour. We can also choose the strength of the chroma key as well. So if it's quite light, no other colours are removed. If we make it quite high, more colours will be removed. That's about about right there. Okay, press done. Now if you've still got some noise on the picture um, or you want to remove some other colours. This next dialog will ask me, do I want to remove some more colours um, as chroma key? I can answer yes or no. In this case, I'll say no. Um, at any point, if we want to remove more background colours, this is the main edit view. We can press at the top here uh, and we get the edit project view and we can uh, remove more chroma key colours. Now, what we can see here is the main edit view where we spend most of our time. Um, as before, we can pan through the video with the slider at the bottom. Um, what we can also do is add effects. So let's add a background to this video. So if we press add effect, we can choose from all these different categories here explosions, fire, weapons, impacts, actors, and vehicles, weather, and background. So in this case, we'll choose background. Uh, backgrounds are special because they loop uh, for infinity, so uh, they're going to play for as long as your video main video is. So let's choose a suitable background. In this case, we want some kind of dinosaur background. So Let's choose a beach. There we go. Now what's happened here is that we can see the on the layers, we've got the main video layer and the palm beach uh, layer. And that's actually gone on top of the main video. So what we want to do is actually move this layer behind the main video uh, layer. So let's do that. So if you press move effects, you just drag and drop. And we can see that the palm beach has gone behind the main layer. Now because I was panning around the video, I've actually put this effect layer in at about 8.86 seconds in the video. Uh, what we can actually do is move the effect in the timeline. So in this case, we want to move it back to the start. Okay, well, actually, say we made a mistake. How do I undo that? Well, to undo a or to remove a layer, we just do move effect again, press delete, and we delete it. And then we can add the effect again. So let's add the effect background. Palm Beach, let's move it again. There we are, you can see it's done. Now, I could render that and make this guy here look like he's on a beach. And to do that, we press Compose at the top. Now, but I want to make this a bit more exciting, so let's add a dinosaur. So, if we do actors and vehicles, we've got those effects here henchmen, Apache gunships, F 16s, spatials, tanks, bats. So, let's choose a T Rex. Okay, so you'll notice the T-Rex is not in a great place here in the video. So what we can do is move him to the edge of the screen. Now these controls here are in the way, so if we press the edges here, they'll disappear. Now I want to um, shrink this T-Rex so it looks like he's chasing this guy here. So I can just pinch zoom and make him smaller, 
or make him bigger. Um, I can also rotate him, and that's applied to the whole video file for that layer. So in this case, we just want him to be straight but slightly small. Let's put him down here, and let's put him slightly off the screen. Now, what I want to, what I want to happen is for him to actually grow bigger and chase chase this young chap here. So what we can do is move to the end of the video file uh, and bring on the tweening control. Now if I add a tween that means that I create a tween point at the end of the file or anywhere in between as many as we like and I can choose to move the dinosaur, resize him and now what's going to happen is that green screen will interpolate between those two tweening points and make him grow and move to this point Okay, and you might notice as well that our dinosaur is actually in front, so to fix that, we simply do move layer, put the dinosaur in front of the beach, but behind the main video file, and we can see that he is uh, behind the guy being chased there. Um, you also notice that I'm not really that happy with the position of the main video, because uh, he's a bit too centred, so if we click on the main video file, um, I can simply move the main video file around. Again, I can start and rotate it and, and uh, pinch, pinch, uh, zoom the video file as well. So, okay, that looks pretty good now. So, if I press compose, this will render the video. And this takes a different amount of time depending on your device. Here, we're rendering a 720p video. Okay, so that's finished rendering. Um, we can then watch the video. You can hear that the sound effects are mixed on top of the original video file. So you can see we've got a dinosaur chasing, chasing this guy here. Um, so that's great. Now what we can do is, uh, if we select video, we can press share and we can choose to email video, share to Dropbox, save to our photo gallery, or share to Facebook. So in this case, we'll just share it to our photo gallery. Um, and you can go in and edit the video again and change it to your heart's content. Select the layers, add more layers. Um, you can see some other examples that we've created, created before. Thanks for watching the video. Um, and it's, as I mentioned before, a universal app and works on one purchase, works on iPhone 4 and 5. Okay, thank you for watching.